Thank you. Fall fast approaching, and when it comes to the flu season, unfortunately, a recent study found that it is possible to become infected with both the flu and COVID-19 at the same time. And even though coronavirus cases have been dropping overall right here in the U.S., many people have now been asking, what might happen if you get sick with both? Well, joining us now to answer those questions, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Good afternoon, Dr. Nandy. This is frightening. Yeah, good afternoon, Glenn and Alan. Yeah. Some of, my, some of my patients have asked me the same question, right? What happens if you get infected with both? And to be honest, super concerning to me because the flu and COVID-19 are both, what, respiratory illnesses and they're very contagious. Now, there's still a lot that scientists don't know and doctors don't know, but because the, the novel uh, coronavirus is, is, what, new and there's limited data. But a published study did find that 20% of patients had co-infections, meaning that they had COVID-19 and another respiratory virus and and that the flu was one of them so this might be you know this, this might be very frightful as this double whammy can affect uh, you know your health really tremendously again it's too early to really know but unfortunately we'll learn more as the as the months pass but in my opinion to be infected with both would be harder on your health than to be much more dangerous actually for folks who had higher risk due to underlying health conditions that could put, put them at increased risk you know, Doc, you would think that preventative measures for COVID-19 may help reduce flu transmission. And isn't that what's what's been happening in other countries? 100 percent, Alan. And when you look at Australia, for instance, the, the weather is the opposite of ours, right? So winter time for them is June through August. So far, the data does show that they've had a milder flu season. So that's good news. And, and, and very likely the result of the COVID-19 hygiene practices, right? The stuff we've been doing. So because, you know, both the flu and COVID-19 are spread very similarly, most likely by tiny droplets that fly out when you're coughing, sneezing, or even talking forcefully like I am. So it's not surprising to me that wearing a mask, social distancing, and regularly actually washing your hands and disinfecting would have an impact on overall transmission rates of the flu as well. So a lot of the COVID-19 precautions that we are taking, Dr. Nandy, may help in preventing us from getting the flu as well. Is it still important to get the flu shot? Oh, absolutely, Glenn. I, can't, I, can, I, I cannot stress how important it is to get the flu shot. My family and I, my entire family, including the kids, will be getting the flu shot very soon. And September and October, to me, are the best months to get get this done, get, getting the flu shot, that is, as flu season is starting to ramp up and your body needs about two weeks to really build up antibodies. And I think that if we can, if we can build up immunity and get the flu shot uh, so you can protect yourself from the flu, that'll protect all of us from getting, you know, getting the double whammy like we're, we're worried about. And just a reminder, Dr. Nandy, if you've already had the flu, do you have antibodies? You know, every year the, the strain is different. Okay. So, you, you, you know, you should get a flu shot this year for the flu strain that we're predicting. But it's so important to get protected against the flu uh, during this coming season, uh, even more than others. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. My pleasure. And remember, if you do have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.